Hi, George Huang, physical therapist at Vita Integrated Health. Today we're at the climbing gym and uh, we're going to talk about the Gaston move. A lot of you rock climbers know exactly what I'm talking about. It's where the thumb is pointed down, your palm is facing the wall, and you're providing this outward force. That position creates a lot of vulnerability in the shoulder and oftentimes people come in with, who have been climbing and that's the area of inj that's the mechanism of injury that tends to happen because in that position they're not necessarily trained in that position so therefore if they put themselves in that position that's what causes the stress and strain so the best way to train for it is just to mimic it right you can do different weights while you're doing it but since we're at the climbing wall so might as well just try it with that okay so what we're going to do is we're going to climb up to this wall here and while you're in this position right so this this hold here is going to be the one that I'm gonna be side pulling. If you see my elbow, it definitely flares out, okay? So as you're training for it, you wanna make sure that while you're in that position, you can move in and out of that position. You can try to use your hands to tap because you don't know where the next hold's gonna be in real life, right? And so while you're doing that, the more motion you can have, the better, right? Maybe your arm isn't strong enough or it feels very vulnerable, so you can pre-position yourself in that position you can mess with your feet movements, okay? You can even move your hips up and down, okay, side to side. It's just try to get more stress and strain to that shoulder, okay? So if you are pre-positioning yourself in that position, you are gonna be training your shoulder to do so. So the more training you have, whenever it comes to real life, you're gonna be able to send those hard projects without fearing the injury aspect.